Alright everyone, as you can see, I'm back to running Mac OS X Leopard again, but there's a good reason behind that. Recently I made a video detailing some of the issues I had with my previous MacBook. Briefly it had gone into the shop five times, so shortly after making that video I made the decision to call up AppleCare and have them send me a replacement unit. So after going about six days without a machine, I finally got my new system Tuesday night Hawaii time and they sent me a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Dual with 2 gigs of RAM 160 gigabyte hard drive running the latest version of iLife 08 Mac OS 10 as well as some other things also so this is a brand new machine um, brand new uh, out of the box and this is replacing a refurbished unit so Apple really did come through um, by sending me a, a whole new system, not just a refurbished system, but a whole new system, which I think is pretty awesome. So I plan on doing a couple videos about this over the weekend. Um, just not right now. I just got home from work, so I'm kind of tired. But one thing I wanted to address was uh, a, a reoccurring question that pops up in my mailbox. And something that always comes up to me is, or people ask me in messages is, what are these things that show up in the side of my menu bar? And this is called menu meters. I probably mentioned it before, but I didn't really go into the exact spelling of it. So for everyone's benefit, I just thought I'd make a quick video of it. So what you want to do is uh, go, go into your Google search box, type in menu meters, all one word. The first link that comes up is going to bring you to the Raging Menace website. From here, um, you can download and install menu meters. And by looking at the website, it downloads useful status indicators into your toolbar, such as uh, network traffic, memory usage, CPU history, and hard disk activity. All of that can be viewed at a glance in the menu bar by installing this add-on. And it's a very simple add-on. It, it works on older versions going back to Mac OS version 10.2 all the way up to the latest version of Leopard. So in terms of compatibility there is no issues in terms of installing the software and getting it running on your system. And once you install it, download the installer package. Once you get it running on your system it'll show up first as a system preference pane and from there you can click on it and you can choose various options such as showing the CPU meter, memory usage, network, and disk activity. Now if you're running a multi-processor uh, multi or multiple-core multi Macintosh, you can show the average for multiple processors as a single display. Generally I like to do that just to conserve menu bar space. Other people may like to show off or just kind of show what all their processors are doing so you can uncheck that, uncheck this item as well. But that's just a brief overview and summary of kind of what's going on. MacBooks, many meters. Um, so in terms of the video release schedule, um, this new job is longer hours but better pay. So in terms of money in my pocket, it's working out better for me. But it looks like I'm probably going to be doing videos maybe once a week now and mostly on the weekends. So. I'll try and at least do one once a week and try and push it out over the weekend. But as I said, this is a new job for me, but the pay is pretty good and yeah. So anyway, so just thought I'd give you a quick overview and um, hopefully I'll do videos on the MacBook. Alright, that's about it. Peace.